Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here today with game two of our series between the 1984 Padres and the 1993 uh, Florida Marlins. And this is game two. The Padres won game one by the score of 10 to 2. And so we will see if the um, Marlins can even the series up. But right now, let's go down to the field and the field announcer and the uh, for the uh, national anthem. All right, so with that, we can get underway with the uh, Padres, are the visiting team. We're in Florida for this game. And pitching for the Florida Marlins will be Chris Hammond. And Alan Wiggins is up. He gets a 4-8, which is a single. So the leadoff man is on. Alan Wiggins with a hit. Hammond giving up his first hit. And he is a double A stealer. So he will try to steal. Second. And that's a 14. Let's see what the catcher is. That's Benito. Oh, that's Uncle Benito. You got to believe that's going to be a gun. No, it isn't. So he still he makes it in there. So, stolen base for Wiggins. And Tony Gwynn is up. He gets a 6-10, which is a fly ball center field. So, one away. And that brings up Steve Garvey. And Steve Garvey gets a 2-6, which is a single double asterisk and knocks in a run. So, Garvey puts the, the uh, Padres ahead. one nothing. Hammond allowing his second hit. And that brings up Kevin McReynolds, and he gets a 1-5, which is a single. That's his first hit of the series. Third hit allowed for Hammond this game already in the first inning. And Greg Nettles is up. He gets a 6-11. That is a fly ball to right. The right fielder for the Marlins is... Um, Henry Cotto, and he's a two. And that's a nine. That's going to be a something. That's going to be something big. Nine, two is a double two. So that's going to be a double that knocks in um, another run. Hammond allowing his fourth hit and second earned run. And that brings up Carmelo Martinez with runners at second and third, and so far only one out. And that is a 4 11, that's a walk. So Hammond loads the bases with Padres. And that brings up Temple, Gary Templeton, and he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball into a double play. And they did not have the infield in, so that is a double play. And the Padres are retired. After getting only two runs. 
I mean, they started off like they were going to get a ton of runs, and they ended up only getting two. So, that brings us to the top of the order for the Marlins in the first inning, and Chuck Carr. And pitching for the Padres today on the mound will be Eric Shaw. And that's a 2 6 for Carr, which is a walk, and he will try to steal. So Shaw walks the first batter he faces, and that happened to be Chuck Carr, and he gets a 14. And Terry Kennedy probably is not going to gun him either. No, he does not. So Chuck Carr also gets a stolen base. Runner at second, no outs, and Henry Cotto up, and he gets a 3-7, and that is a strikeout. So there's one away. Strikeout for Shao, and that brings up Jeff Conine. Conine gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout, and that's a second strikeout for Shao. And that brings up Gary Sheffield, and he gets a 6-5, which is a walk. So the uh, Fish have two guys on now. Two men aboard, two out. And Arrestus Destrada is up, and he grounds out to short. So he is retired, and the Fish get nothing in the first. We go to the top of the second. And in the top of the second, the Padres send up Terry Kennedy as the first batter. He gets 4-8, which is a single. So that's already the fifth hit that Hammond hit allowed. And that brings up Luis Salazar. And he gets a 2-3, which is a fly ball left field. That's one away. Alan Wiggins is up, and he gets a 4-8, which is a single. So the Padres have two aboard with only one out. Sixth hit allowed already by Hammond, and Gwynn is up, and he gets a 1-10, which is a pop-out to first. That's two away. And Steve Garvey's up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a single double asterisk. Same thing he rolled last time, and that also knocks in a run. And he's knocked in his second run of the game on his second at bat. Hammond giving up his seventh hit and third run. And we're only in the second. And McReynolds is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a pop-out to third. Which takes the Padres out of the inning, but they do get another run. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. Dave Magadan up, the DH, and he gets a walk. So Magadan is aboard. Third walk uh, issued by Shao, and Brett Barbary is up. He gets a 2-6, which is a double one to two or a single. That is going to be a single double asterisk. And this offensive uh, outburst here might just save Hammond for another inning, at least. First hit allowed by Shao. And Santiago is up. He gets a 5-9, which is a fly ball right field C, so nobody advances. One away. And that brings up Walt Weiss. And Walt Weiss gets a 6-10 which is a fly ball center field B, and that does advance the uh, runner from third to home. And it gives the uh, Marlins their first, um, their first run of the game. And now the score is 3-1, to one, and Chuck Carr is up. He gets a 5-9, and that is a fly ball. And he's out. But the Marlins get a run, and it's only 3-1 now, so it's not that bad. But Hammond is going to have to settle down if he wants to stay in this game. 
Greg Nettles is up. He gets a 5'11", which is a ground ball to first. The first baseman is Arrestus Destrada, who is a 4. And that is an 18. 18 and 4 is an out. Yeah. One away. So Nettles retired. And that brings up Carmelo Martinez. He gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. And he is out. He's thrown out by Hammond. And Gary Templeton's up. And he gets a 4-4, which is a catcher card X. The catcher is Santiago. He's a 3. That's a 5 and a 3. And that is... Safe at first on Air Gribbler. So Templeton gets a board by on an air by Santiago. And with two down and a man at first, I believe it's two down, yes. Man at first, Terry Kennedy's up and he gets a 110, which is a single one to 18. And that is not going to be a single. It's a line out to second base. Kennedy is out. So the Padres get no runs there. We go to the bottom of the third. It's three to one. And up steps Henry Cotto. He gets a six six, which is a pop out to third base. One away. Cotto retired. Jeff Conine gets a 4 8, which is a walk. So Conine is aboard with only one down. Fourth walk issued by Shao, having control problems today. And Gary Sheffield comes up. 6 6 is a pop out to third. That's two away. And that brings up Destrada. He gets a 5 8. And that's a home run 1 to 10. And that's going to be a home run. Arrestus Destrada just tied the game. And Shaw is having his problems here. But really, so is Hammond. So they're both having their issues. Magadan is up and he gets a 6-5, which is a walk. So, Magadan taking a walk. Fifth walk issued now by Shao. And that brings up Barbary, who gets a 5-6, which is a line out to first. So, Barbary's retired. But not before the Marlins tie the game at three apiece. And we go to the top of the fourth in a 3-3 tie. Luis Salazar gets a 1-6, which is a single. And he's actually having a pretty good series himself. He's three for six. Alan Wiggins comes up. He gets a 1-5, which is a ground ball B. And now Wiggins is aboard with one away. And you know what that means. That means he's going to try to steal second base. And he, this time, is still... Uh, I don't know. That's borderline. But I think he's gunned. He's gunned because Santiago is a three. So, Alan Wiggins gets caught stealing. And there's two down. And then Wiggins gets a five, six. And that is a fly ball to center. So, Gwyn is out on a fly ball. No runs come across for the Padres. We go to the bottom of the fourth. In a tie game, um, where is the other dice? There it is. Benito Santiago is up for the uh, Marlins. He gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball B. One away. Walt Weiss gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. Two away. Only the second strikeout for uh, Shao. And that brings up 
Chuck Carr, and he gets a 6-5, which is a walk. Sixth walk again. I mean, control problems here for Shaw, and that brings up Cotto. He gets a 6 10, which is a fly ball to center, and he's out. We go to the top of the fifth in a three all game. Padres batting and uh, sending up Steve Garvey, who's two for two today with two RBIs. It's a 5 4, which is a ground ball to third. The third baseman is Barbary. I think. No, the third baseman is Sheffield, and he's a four. And that's a 13 and a four, which is an out. So Garvey gets out. That's his first time he's been retired today. Kevin McReynolds is up. He gets a 1-5, which is a single. Eighth hit allowed for Hammond. Nettles gets a 4-8, which is a single. So with one out, the Padres have two aboard. And Carmelo Martinez up. And he gets a 3-10, which is a pop-out to short, two away. And that brings up Gary Templeton. And Templeton gets a 3-5, which is a single, and now the Padres have a decision to make. Are they going to send the runner? The hit allowed. That's the 10th by Hammond. And the runner is McReynolds. He's a 1-14. And that's a 7. So uh, there is no negative 7 arm anywhere. So he does score. Templeton with the RBI. And uh, the fourth run allowed for Hammond. And Terry Kennedy is up, and that's a 5 8, which is a pop out to first. So the Padres get a run. They take a 4 to 3 lead here. Jeff Conine is up. And uh, we're going to have some activity out in the bullpen for the fish and that's going to be Luis Aquino. Jeff Conine though right now is up at the plate and he gets a 2-8 which is a ground ball to the shortstop one away. Sheffield's up he gets a 5-7 which is a strikeout. Third strikeout for Shaw and Arrestus Destrada, who has a home run this game and has a, maybe another one. Home run 1-18. to 18. And it is. And Arrestus Destrada ties the game with his second homer of the game. And he's been the man. I mean, he is 4 for 7 in the series with 3 home runs and 4, four RBIs. And Shao gives up his third hit, second homer, and the fourth run. And Magadan comes up 5 8, which is a home run 1 to 10. And it's going to be a double for Magadan. Magadan ripping a double. And now Brett Barbary is up, and he gets a 3 5 single 1 to 18. And that is going to be a single. Let's see here. I think there's only one out, right? Let's see. Magadan got on. Estrada hit a home run. No, I think there's two out. And that brings up Barbary, and he gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball, A to second base, A plus injury. So even if that weren't the case, he, he's out. But 
He's also injured on the play. But he will. I think he stays in the game. That's a five. Injuries, five. Bat, no, batter is injured for one game. So Barbary is out of the game. So we need somebody else to play second base. And that somebody else will be Rich Renteria. Second base four, Rich Renteria. And he is a stealing E. And they are going to bring in Luis Aquino. He'd been warming up this whole time, and really Hammond was not pitching well, even though the game is tied. And the Padres up at the plate, and they will also have uh, some uh, somebody warming up in their bullpen. And that's going to be Mark Thurman, since they are in Thurman territory again. So that brings up... Um, the... Um, yeah, the Marlins tied the game at 4-all. We go to the top of the sixth with Salazar up now against Aquino. And he gets a 4-9, which is a home run one or a double. And that's going to be a double. And Salazar has really been a, one of their better hitters. Four for seven in the series. Alan Wiggins is a 5-5, and that's a strikeout, one away. That brings up Tony Gwynn. He gets a 3-7, which is a single. And that is Luis uh, Salazar running. He's a 1-17. to No question they're sending him. And he might be gone. We'll see. That's a 16. He's a running 1-17. to But the ball was hit to right field. And that's Cotto. And Cotto is a plus 1. So he does score. So Gwynn with a hit. An RBI, a hit allowed by Aquino, and an earned run, and still only one out, and Garvey up, and Garvey gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout to away. And that brings up Kevin McReynolds, and that's a 1-4, which is a single double asterisk, and puts runners at the corners with two down. Greg Nettles is up, and that's a 6-5, and that's a walk to load the bases. And Carmelo Martinez gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 4. And that's a 3. That's going to be huge. 3 and 4 is a single 2. So Martinez drives in two more runs. And Aquino is self-destructing in his first inning on the mound, and that brings up the 3-8 for Gary Templeton, which is a ground ball shortstop A. They didn't need the double play, but that certainly does end the inning. But not before the Padres strike for three in the sixth. And now Thurman will come in in relief of Shaw. Shaw only pitches six. Uh, wait a minute. No, he only pitches five. And that'll bring Thurman out. So 
So, close the book on Shaw. He pitches five, allows five hits, strikes out only three, but walks six and allows two homers and four earned runs. And Santiago will bat against Thurman. And that's a 1-9, which is a fly ball to center. One away. Walt Weiss gets a 3-10, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he's thrown out by Thurman. And that brings up Chucky Carr. And he gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball to left. And he's retired. And the uh, Marlins go down 1-2-3. After allowing three in the sixth and being behind now by the score of seven, seven to four. And Terry Kennedy is up. He gets a two eight, which is a strikeout. Luis Salazar gets a five eleven, which is a ground ball to the first baseman. That's Estrada, Destrada, and he's a four, and that's a six. That's going to be something. That's a single. Salazar continues his torrid hitting. He is now 5 for 8 with a home run and two RBIs in the series. And there is one, I think there's one down. Yeah, there's one down. Wiggins is up. He gets a 2 7, which is a ground ball B, and now Wiggins is aboard. He could steal, but he's not going to. Gwynn is up. 3-8. That's a single double asterisk. Puts runners at the corners. And that might have been a fateful decision not to steal right there because that would have been an RBI. And that brings up Garvey. And Garvey gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball to short. And he is out in a crucial situation where San Diego gets no runs. And that's going to be... Uh, there's going to be action in the Florida bullpen, and they are going to get up Joe Clink. And Florida is batting here in the bottom of the seventh with Henry Cotto. 4-10 is a... Well, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, 4-10 is a fly ball center field. The center fielder is McReynolds, and he's a one, and that's an out. So Cotto is out. Jeff Conine's up. He gets a 6-12, which is a pop out to short. And that brings up Sheffield, and Sheffield gets a 5-10, which is a catcher card X. And the catcher is a three, and that's a two. And he's out on a dribble. So Sheffield is retired. And no runs come across for Florida. And there's going to be some more action in the Padres bullpen. And they will get uh, Goose Gossage up. And the Florida Marlins are going to bring Clink into the game. Close the book on Aquino. He goes two. Hammond went um, five, right? And so that brings in Clink. And we got top of the eighth with. Um, McReynolds up, batting against Clink. 5-7 is a walk. Right in the middle of the column. McReynolds getting aboard with the walk. Brings up, uh, yeah, Greg Nettles. He gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher A. So he hits uh, into a ground ball double play that's originated by Clink. And there are two down for the Padres here in the top of the eighth. And Carmelo Martinez up, and he gets a walk. So Martinez walks. And 
And that brings up Templeton, who gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. And no runs come across for the Padres. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And they are going to bring in Gossage. So Thurman only goes two. And Goose Gossage comes in to, you would have to think, nail it down. He pitched 102 innings that year, all in relief, obviously, so he can go the rest of the game if they don't get, if the uh, Marlins don't manage to get three runs. Arrestus Destrat is up, and he gets a 4-10, which is a ground, or a fly ball center field. That's McReynolds, he's a one, that's an out. One away. Maggot up, he gets a 4-3. That is a catcher card X. That he Terry Kennedy's a three. That's a 19. 19 and a three is a roll again. And that is a one. And that's gonna be a strikeout. Two away, Maggot and Dunn. And with two down, that brings up Rich Renneria for his first at bat. He gets a triple one to four or a single. And he's going to get a single. And Benito is up. He gets a 5-10. That is a fly ball to the right fielder and he's out. We go to the top of the ninth. San Diego up at the plate. Against Joe Klink, Kennedy is the first batter. He gets a double one to 11. That's going to be a single. Was that Kennedy? Yeah. With a hit, and that brings up Luis Salazar, one of their best hitters this series, and he walks. So Salazar is aboard. Clink has allowed the first two guys on. Alan Wiggins comes up. He gets a 3 6 is a single 1 to 12. And that is a single. And the bases are loaded. That was only one asterisk, so nobody could advance any further than that anyway. The Marlins are in a lot of trouble here. We got Gwyn up. That's a 4 6, which is a single 1 to 12. And that is also a single. He knocks in another run. That's the first run Clink has given up, but the bases are still loaded with no outs. And that's a 6-5. That's going to be a strikeout, one away. So Garvey strikes out with the bases full. And that brings up McReynolds. He gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. So Clink strikes out the next two guys, which is key. I mean, they really needed that. And that brings up Greg Nettles. And he gets a 2-8, which is a walk, and knocks in another run. That's his third RBI of the series. Second run allowed by Clink. And Carmelo Martinez is up. That's a 4-3. Fly ball to right. That's Cotto. He's a 2. That's a 10. And that's going to be... Um, that's going to be an out. So, Martinez makes the out. But two more runs come in. Clink allows two more runs. So it is now 5 to, or it's 9 to uh, 4. 9 to 4. And so the Marlins come up needing quite a few runs off Goose Gossage. Seems unlikely, and Walt Weiss is the first guy to try it, and he gets a single. That's his first hit of the series, too. That brings up Chuck Carr. He gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout, one away. And 
And that brings up Henry Cotto. He gets a 3-5, which is a single. So the, the fish have two guys on and only one out. Jeff Conine up. He gets a 1-2, which is a line out into as many outs as possible, which will be a double play, which will also end this series. With the final score being 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes. Final score being 9-4 to four in Game 2. The Padres win the second game and they advance to the next round. Um, and we only have one more series left. And my plan is that that next series is going to be the 1954 Cleveland Indians as the good team and the 1970 Angels as the bad team. So you'll want to tune in for that series, but right now this one is complete and we are done and with this series. Padres advancing over the Marlins. Kind of had to figure that was going to happen. And so that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.